Dear friends, thank you for joining me for this weekly update. First of all, happy Mother's Day to all moms, grandmothers, great grandmothers, and godmothers. And I want to especially、um, shout out those mothers whose children received their first Holy Communion this weekend. Yesterday morning, Saturday, we had two wonderful First Communion Masses where over 60 of our young people shared at the Lord's table for the first time. Congratulations to them and to their families. Signs of normalcy are beginning to emerge from the coronavirus pandemic. The Archdiocese has reissued its guidelines for the celebration of Mass. Holy water has now reappeared. Next weekend, we will see once again the offertory procession, along with the resumption of congregational singing, as long as one wears a mask. The guidance also permits a reconfiguration of the pew space, so that now every other pew will be marked off. We have been very blessed by the guidance given to us by the Archdiocesan Office of Risk Management. So please, basic、uh, rules. Continue to wear mask, maintain social distance, and use hand sanitizer. Last weekend's cathedral ball in support of our parish school was a huge success, and so my deepest thanks go to co-chair Stephanie Woodhouse and Shannon Birch and their and their committee for a great family event. Proceeds from this year's ball will help expand the art, music. And theater programs offered at the school. So many thanks again for all who made this year's virtual cathedral ball such success and such fun. Next Saturday, the Archbishop will ordain five men transitional deacons here in the cathedral. God willing, these men will be ordained to the priesthood next year. So please pray for vocations to the priesthood and the religious life. And finally, next week there will be an outdoor mass at 1 p.m. in the school circle. As usual, please register on our web page that we might make adequate arrangements. And now, just a brief word about this week's scripture readings. We hear about much about love and how God is love in today's epistle and reading from St. John's Gospel. Love can mean many things to different people, but to Saint John the Evangelist, God's love is a very concrete event: Jesus Christ laying down His life for His friends. In His atoning love, Jesus has shown us what God's love looks like, and now it is for us to imitate that love by keeping the commandments and loving others in the same self-giving way. That Jesus loves us. This week, may God give us all the grace to stretch ourselves in care and loving service for those around us, especially to those we call family. Have a good week, and be safe.